it's business and leadership stories uh, with me rishi k we all remember stories from the epics from the animation films we watched as kids the movies we still watch but then if we ask you do you remember a business presentation that you saw last week you probably just scratch your head and say ma ah, i don't remember that's because stories are a hack into the human brain we need to use more of them as opposed to plain vanilla presentations sachin bandari from the story co is helping companies startups and professionals do exactly that he gives them stories and tells them what they can learn from them using the power of stories to achieve business goals with speed and ease wonderful to see you how are you I'm good to see. Very good, very good. Uh, <laughs> look forward to our conversation today. How an IT company triggered stories, and indeed, the pandemic did change the way we live, we work. It also brought many fringe idea ideas to the mainstream. I'd like you to elaborate. I was, uh, you know, this was probably about a year ago or a little more than that uh, when the pandemic was towards the end. Uh, I saw this company called Tax Security, uh, which uh, got a lot of news suddenly, and I was wondering why that happened because a lot of companies want this, right? They want, I mean, not just companies, even people want to be known by others. We want to be spoken of. Uh, we want that word of mouth and virality, etc., because that sometimes can help you get the right kind of opportunities. So, tax security is a not a very big IT firm. From my what what I understand, they're a mid-sized IT security firm, uh, which have who have offices both in Bombay and San Francisco, if I'm not wrong. And uh, at that point in time, tax security had actually. uh announced a four day work week the founder ceo of the company said that uh we are focusing on productivity on employee happiness and if this works we are going to make it a permanent policy that people have to come only four days a week and not five days a week so that they have rest of the three days off uh, which of course meant that people would have to work longer for those four days but at the end of the day who doesn't want an extra sunday right absolutely there's no two ways about that so uh Tell me the communication tip or the leadership tip we can le- learn from uh, the extra Sunday. <laughs> yes, uh, the communication and the leadership tip from the extra Sunday is that uh, you know sleep like a log, uh, don't move no matter what happens. Uh, just kidding. Uh, tax security. What I found interesting is that this this thing of getting interest, right? Getting newsworthiness and getting people attracted to you is not something that was just uh, limited to tax securities uh, for uh, four day work week idea. This I saw across quite a few companies at that I mean uh, around the same time, and I thought that there's something interesting at play here. So I'll give you a couple more examples. Zomato, when they announced period leaves, uh, which they were the first big company to do so, they actually got a lot of positive chatter on social media. They got a lot of news coverage as well. Uh, similarly, uh, when Airbnb asked about 25% of its staff to leave. uh but when they asked them to leave they did a few things which no company had ever done before they asked them to keep their laptops uh, uh one third of their hr staff was going to get uh, jobs for the ones who were asked to leave uh and they also created a listing style website to help their other employees or employees who were asked to leave get their new gigs and all of these companies were showered by the media and by people on social media with a lot of attention and positive chatter and what i realized is that let's say your audience wants something so want something would be that you know of course all who doesn't want to do a four day work week it's something that we all are dreaming of talking off on linkedin and on twitter etc etc some companies in australia are already doing it and we are all thinking oh my god australia is the country i need to be in uh, uh, zomato period leaves now i remember that my wife actually used to fi- find it a bit awkward to say that uh you know i'm not well or i have some other commitment and that's why i cannot show up at work today whereas she was actually suffering from or uh suffering from period period pain and that's something that a lot of indian women go through but it we never expected a company to make it a policy similarly airbnb when they ask people to leave we have now gotten into this perception that when companies sack people or ask people to leave rather because it's not technically are sacking they were asking people to leave only because of the pandemic uh, and its uh, compulsions uh, we are now used to this thing that oh when people when companies ask people to leave they just ask them to leave on whatsapp or on a zoom call and that's the end of it 
So when your audience wants something from you, so want is that okay, I want a four-day work week. We want period leaves. Uh, we want to be asked to leave in the most dignified manner ever. But we don't expect all of these things from companies or from leaders. And when you do that, when you spring that surprise on to people, people definitely gravitate towards you and they want to talk about you and they want to spread the word. Hey, do you know of this company? Do you know of this leader? Do you know of this radio jockey who's super cool, etc., etc. So all of these things. So when people people want something but don't expect something from you that thing from you and you give that to them as a surprise people will talk about you so that's my communication tip for today that is absolutely stellar sachin does this incredible news bulletin which he writes himself it's called win with stories where can we read that bulletin also where can we reach out to you buddy uh yes rishi uh, anyone who's interested in knowing more about how to use storytelling to improve their communication whether in entrepreneurship business leadership or career uh, they can just connect with me on linkedin uh, i go by i mean my uh, parents name be sachin bhandari so sachin is easy bhandari is b h a n d a r y and not i and they'll connect with me and on my profile page there's a link to win with stories newsletter which is basically a story with a practical useful communication tip that i send out every wednesday yeah that's wonderful i'm going to see you next time take care bye bye thank you rishi look forward one world your station